So I have a video that is a little bit different for you guys today, but I think it's so special. You guys know I live on a farm, and obviously we have farm animals like goats, and for these particular goats we had two big water troughs, and one day I looked down and saw all of these hundreds if not thousands of baby little tiny tadpoles. Um, I'm not sure what kind they are, I know there's a couple of ponds around, and I have seen adult bullfrogs occasionally be in these waters. Um, but my guess, and as you'll see later, I think is a correct guess that there's a lot of different frogs that uh, lay their spawn in these water troughs. So I obviously didn't want to mess with these guys too much because they are wild animals, um, but I love frogs so, so much. Um, so the one thing I did do was set these little sticks in there just so that when they started to get legs, if they wanted to get out of the waters, I could make it a little bit easier for them. Not that I think they really needed my help. Um, but yeah, the more you think about it, you know, this really is such an ideal environment for these amphibians to kind of spawn their next generation because it is a body of water that gets, you know, quote unquote, water changes as I have to fill it up as the farm animals drink it down. So I put in fresh water and there's plenty of algae and things and no predators uh, to, to prey on them. Um, as I said, I didn't want to get carried away messing with them in any kind of way, um, but the one thing I did do was pull them out just for a second to get you guys a little bit of a better visual of what I'm looking at, because it is hard to record uh, in these water troughs sometimes. But look how tiny they were at the beginning. Just these like tiny little specks that you just see, barely see in the water, but um, they're actually these adorable tiny baby frogs. Um, but yeah, I was kind of battling the sun constantly because uh, it was very, very bright out there. It was obviously not set up for filming or anything. Um, but this is one of the bigger, browner tadpoles. What I was holding before was the teeny tiny black ones, which is kind of what I mean when I say, like, you know, there looks like there's so many different kinds in these water troughs all mixed together. I was holding my hand here in an attempt to show you better the, uh, the bigger brown tadpoles down in there. I don't know how well you guys can really see it, but... Um, so I did pull one out just for a second to show you how much bigger they were by comparison, um, but also so, so cute. And yeah, I, I was having such a good time, honestly, playing with these little baby tadpoles until I saw this thing, which is maybe the single most disturbing thing I've seen in a long time. I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but look at this nightmare fuel animal with its little tiny weird back legs. It does not look like any of the other tadpoles. It has white zombie eyes and this disturbing forked tongue just flicking out like a tiny snake. And I... I can't stand this one. That, I'm gonna be honest with you, that is the first and last time that I messed with that water trough at all. <laughs> After that, I went entirely just to this water trough. I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning there was two with tadpoles in them. I completely left that one alone and went just to this water trough where, as you can see, um, there are both kinds of tadpoles. And one day, I saw the most exciting thing, which was this little baby frog. And I am not lying to you when I say that I saw this and was literally jumping with joy. Not not to make a frog pun, but yes, jumping with joy. Because look how cute! I can't- I don't know if you're getting a good idea of the size, but then more of them started appearing and they're maybe like just the size of the end of my pinky finger. Um, I think the most I saw was this day when there was three tiny baby frogs. You can see them swimming with their just cute, cute little bodies. Um, yeah, obviously they didn't need my help getting out of the waters because obviously, you know, frogs are sticky and that's what they're good at. But um, I just, I had to resist the urge to help them. Yeah, once they get to this size, I don't want to mess with them, but they're so adorable that it is hard to not just cuddle them. Um, you can kind of see on the back of these little baby frogs the little stump where their tail is missing, and I think that is so, so cute. There, you can kind of see the differences the older and older they get. This was maybe my favorite kind of baby frog, which looks more like a toad and has that dark green and sort of mottled brown. Um, if I'm not mistaken, those become toads. And then these obviously look more like a tree frog with their big old sticky feet and the very neon green on their back. And I wanted to show you some adult versions of what I think these guys become. Uh, I believe this is Henry, the same porch toad that shows up every summer. Um, and this is just a tree frog friend that was hanging out on the back door one night. Um, yeah, I do try not to handle them, like I said, but if they're in the way of farm equipment like this little guy, sometimes I do have to relocate them for their own safety. But yeah, I love having frogs, you know, be part of our natural ecosystem and feel so lucky to have been able to watch them grow up. <laughs> 